Hey guys, what's up? Shekhar Suman here from Biotechnica and after a long time I'm making a long form video and this is in response to a question which arrived to me last week Friday and I was talking to this girl uh, from Gujarat and she asked me a very crucial question. Sir, what is the advice you will give to a 22 year old biotechnologist? And that hit my mind. Well, that, that must be the average age of most of my subscribers. So why not today make this video on what is the advice I will give to a 22 year old biotechnologist or 22 year old me myself. Okay, so whatever I'm saying today, if I have to go back in time machine and tell to my own self, this is exactly I would have told. So here is what happened really. Last Friday, I was talking to this girl. So uh, for Dronacharya batch scholarships, I'm talking to a lot of students. So she had applied and she was one of the applicants. I was talking to her and she told me some very basic problems which she is facing and that just opened my eyes. I realized that, well, this is the real problem and no one is talking about it. We're just talking about CSIR, PhD, postdoc. Nobody is trying to talk about this real problem. So today we will jump into this problem and for that, let's get started. Welcome back. So today we are going to talk about advice to a 22 year old biotechnologist, male or female, but yeah. So this is the, this is how I have designed today's uh, meeting, today's video. And that is first we'll discuss about the problem and then we'll discuss about the confusion. Then we'll discuss about the dreams and then we'll discuss about the system. And further to that, we'll discuss about the struggle and the path which you must take, or I would have suggested myself to take. Now, let's get started with the first thing, which is a problem. So what is a problem you face? Now, there are basically six problems, more or less to, you know, which most of you will fa uh, face. And that is first. Too, too many gurus. Now, there are so many gurus out there on internet and trying to tell so many things. But have you realized that they are all commercial? They're not really trying to help you. Rather, somebody is suggesting you write CSI it. Somebody is suggesting go for PhD. Somebody is saying go for foreign PhD. Nobody is telling which path to choose according to your own strength and weaknesses. So today's video is targeted towards that to help you, you know, uh, fix this problem. But yeah, that's one serious problem which our industry faces today is there are too many gurus on YouTube who, but they're giving too little practical solutions. The second problem which you will face is you are actually, as soon as you passed, passed your MSc masters, now you are at the crossroads of your career. So you don't know which way to go. You're like on a charaha and on a junction of multiple roads. You don't know whether you should go into industry, academia, PhD, postdoc, foreign, India, a lot of confusions, right? Now, at the same time, you have, you're yet to identify your passion. Like, are you passionate about research? Or should you go for sales and marketing? Or should you just take a job and take your time to figure out your passion? Or maybe you, uh, you know, uh, go ahead and uh, uh, get into teaching. So, you know, you are at the crossroads of everything. You need to identify your passion. Next. Now your parents are saying stability. Worship stability. So, of course, they want you to be safe. So, you're looking for stability. Stable job, stable career, uh, clearly defined path but nothing is visible. Now, at the same time, your relatives must be taunting, like you did be MSc Biotechnology, what is your package, what, 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 was, what happened to your placements, what happened to your college, you know, a lot of questions. And this really hurts, right? So yeah, that's the problem. Next, next will be fear that your parents dream will get shattered because your parents wanted to see you in a big uh, company big position and earn a six figure salary and you are scared that they their dream will get shattered and they will probably be very broke very, very much broken because they are almost broke trying to teach you i mean help you finish your education right or many of you even take education loans so yeah that's where the problem lies for a 22 year old msc or uh, msc pass out post graduate now, added to that will be the confusion. Now, what is the confusion? 
we don't know whether we should run behind money or passion so somebody shows me money and says okay this is a very nice job you can take a lot of money you get you're going to get but hey my passion is this why should i go for this so you are now confused should i go behind money or passion the next confusion will be stability versus future growth what if i go for a stable government job but there's, there's no growth i just sit there you know living the same life over and over again or uh, future growth okay i get into a startup company in biotechnology sector but what if that company shuts down tomorrow and now i am jobless so you know that confusion stability versus future growth the third will be freedom versus robotic jobs now many jobs are like okay this is a protocol follow it or die but you can't change it but there will be some uh, you know research jobs which are like freedom you have all the resources of the lab at your disposal whatever you want you can do so you're confused whether you should go, go for the freedom or the robotic jobs and then the you know typical question which every indian faces whether i should go for a competitive job competitive exam or whether i should go for a job so these are the confusions you will face so let me know what confusions you are facing probably i can try out to solve in the next video so put them down in the comment section but yeah this is what i could generalize now coming to the dream so you now have the problems at one place you now have the confusions at the one, one place now let's look at the dreams now what's happening you your dream was to work in a well established biotech lab or company uh, and you wanted to earn a six figure salary well that dream seems to be nowhere near so all this on one hand we have dreams on the other hand we have confusions and on the, on the other hand we have a real problem now let's add some more flavor to this and that is a system now what is a system our education system which is another big problem now what they do they will victimize now education system of india just victimizes students that's my generalization after passing through the education system and i'm a big rebel of the education system of india i will not say I'll, i don't believe in it but yeah it requires massive changes in the curriculum so it victimizes students it does not allow talented and hard working students to grow okay if you question a teacher your internals are deducted if you you know go ahead and uh, do something new you are uh, almost rusticated there are a lot of problems and this system actually tries to make you a part of the system so that you can further feed into the system so basically what i mean to say is uh, so you are a student they'll make you a professor and then now you are a professor teaching the same thing to the same students and victimizing them instead of finding novel newer methods of liberating them so that's where the system is now the system is very strong you cannot fight the system okay and this is my conclusion after 16 years of fighting with the system you cannot fight the system the system is very strong right we at biotechnica provide so many uh, skills uh, development program and everything but very less universities approach us and say hey we will we want to provide this skill set to our university students the reason being they are just still going to the rote learning methodology they don't want new things to come in very less colleges approach us for that now coming to the struggle now the struggle which you are into you should know number one is you will realize that there are no jobs for freshers you there is no job coming on biotechnic also probably for freshers no one seems to give credible advice there are so so many gurus on internet they have opinions but they don't have real advice they will just have opinions and then on the top of it there will be self doubts and overthinking which will start killing you and when you go for an interview and you don't get a job you feel like everything was fixed and there's so much corruption nobody would have anyways uh, taken notice and you would not have got that job so this is where the struggle comes in because you are struggling to get a job and nobody is giving you the right advice and nobody is uh, and your own mind is killing you with overthinking and self doubts and yeah so i tried to map the entire brain of a 22 year old biotechnologist so far in the video now let's come to the path now what is the path you have to follow the path is use technology okay use technology to net network use technology to learn new things to use technology to you know interact with newer people okay maybe you can network with me learn skills learn new skill set you don't need to get out of your home also to learn new skills it can be speaking skills it can be interpersonal skills communication skills it can be presentation skills it can be um, technical skills it can be bioinformatics it can be anything so you need to learn skills now you need to broaden your horizon and how do you broaden your horizon by talking to real people who who are you know 
working in those companies which is your dream company so first of all decide your you know goal or obsession or dream company which you want to get into and then you know talk to the people who are working there maybe approach them on linkedin and say hey i am a big fan of biocon or biotechnica whatever wherever you want to work and say that i want to know how is the work culture how can i get a job there please help me i'm uh, my credentials are these what do i need to add to my cv and these guys will help you okay the world is existing today because someone helped someone right that's how you have a sandwich on your plate today in the breakfast because some farmer grew it and somebody brought it to your plate right so the world exists today because of helping so yeah talk to people network with them broaden your horizon understand the mindset then yeah of course work your mindset so you need to have a bulldog determination towards your career okay let's talk it talk about it this way so you were the child of your parents and you troubled them a lot right you were a naughty child i'm sure i was a naughty ch- child every child is naughty but did your ch- did your parents abandon you no right the same way your career is your brain child right so don't abandon your career work on your mindset so that you your overthinking does not kill you okay instead so that you you have a clear action plan and you will be able to execute it and at times you know you can talk to me i am always available you, i'm just a google meet away or a zoom call away i can always talk to you right next surround yourself with positive people Let's see there are thousands of people who will talk about all the problems which you're facing and let me know if any problem i for- forgot to in- include in this video put them down i'll try to make a video on that but yeah so you have to surround yourself with people who give you solutions don't just come and say yeah yeah you have a problem well i i i generally don't believe that why people have to just come and say yeah yeah this is a problem instead give a solution and if you can't just shut your mouth right just don't make videos for youtube views instead try to help because at the end of the day help matters whether you watch this video or the ad before the video does not matter what matters is what you take away from this video so yeah you have to surround yourself with positive people and those people should show you the path i'll not self boast but i'm one of the most positive people i have ever seen yeah, or met because i'm very positive so same way you have to you know look around all the positive people who can show you the path because there are hundreds and thousands of negative people who are just there to say yeah yeah you have a problem but they will never give you solution okay and the last part be on linkedin and network the easiest way to get started is network with me come and let's talk on linkedin you can ping me i can ping you let's talk let's have some events together let's you know communicate and see how can i help you right how, how can my someone in my network help you the other day one girl uh, whatsapped me that she wants some contacts in iisc and i'm still looking for that so that i can get her into the molecular lab, uh, biology lab in iisc so yeah what happened is somebody approached me so i'm looking for it so basically this is how the world works the truth is as a 22 year old you need to know that the world exists today when you proceed forward with bulldog determination in the positive direction without overthinking and killing yourself and surrounding yourself with positive people and networking with them helping them and getting helped that's how the world works youtube is all about helping linkedin is all about helping facebook is all about helping all social media is all about, about helping yeah there are so many negative people who will just come and say yeah you have a problem and they won't solve it but there are people like me and people like uh, biotechnica employees who will help you or be employees in various other companies who will help you so think about it guys i really don't want to discourage you by saying there are a lot of problems which you will face at the age of 22 i want to tell you that 10 years from today you won't even remember that you were in the struggle what you are into today when at the age of 32 you will probably never you know think about it but just think about it does 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 does, does this problem seem like never ending no it will end you will definitely move out of this and you will be able to fix it but all you have to do is believe in yourself and keep following biotechnica because that is where all the positive facts facets and methodologies of life sciences are exposed to you so thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you in the next one till then take care